September the 21st, 2005. It was a joint that was being cased for months. We knew it. But I didn't head there for solving crimes. I went there to solve crimes, and fall in love. And all I got was heartbreak. And indigestion. Joe's Bar and Restaurant. The prime target for crime. And romance. The best bistro in town, to get your knocks socked off by some ice cold alcohol, and your wallet flung into the ceiling fan by the waitresses, like your dick after following directions, which also goes into a ceiling fan. I was here because of the crime committed. Something was stolen from me, and someone was killed. And it was my heart. The stolen one. Not the killed one. He did it. He stole my heart, and killed my favorite bartender. He knew just how to flip those ice cubes for my bourbon, and just how to shake his tush to get my pants in a tent. Those were the days. But those days are gone. I bet it was from jealousy, but in my business, we don't get jealous. We get the job done. Time to find evidence. It was me and the scene. Only me, and the scene. The building was evacuated in case of another murder arising, as the police don't like a bar becoming a mass grave, just like I don't like my lovers going to be jealous people and killing a bartender, because I love their bourbon style. There weren't even any C- Sir. You gotta leave. This is a secure scene of a crime, and monologuing won't actually help our investigation, it will only hinder it. Damn. I must have miscounted. This must be the work of my ex, Francis Below Parmesan the 53rd Backstreet Boy. He was a member of the European mob of guitarists for the Beatles that weren't Beatles. I gotta find the way back inch.